So hi all, Serena Alnor. I'm in Spain shooting a video with my friend. He's asked me to take the lead role as the um, the lead girl in a video. And his video is about a goddess. I absolutely love it because he's empowering women. He's, you know, letting us know that being women of worth, we're appreciated, you know? And there's men out there that enjoy that, that level of confidence. So in terms of that video being in alignment with my integrity, I was like, yay, great stuff. I'll definitely uh, be the lead girl. So I'm excited, it's my first video, uh, music video, so cool, yeah? During the video, I um, had a, you know, thoughts were floating through my mind, as usual. Um, I'm a bit of a thinker anyway, so. Um, thoughts were floating through my mind, and what came to my mind was a goddess, and how, and sacrifice. You know, if you're gonna call yourself a goddess, you are somebody that clearly has like an altar of some sort, um, and you, you know, pour libation, or you give things to your altar, flowers, water, wine, fruits, whatever it is. So you're making sacrifices through your worship of self or deities or whatever it is, yeah? So I just wanted to kind of outline how being a goddess and making sacrifices or losses, having losses, actually entwine. Now, what actually happened, what made me think about this was during the video shoot, he wanted me to do a scene where I came out of the water like the Bond girl. Absolutely awesome. Now, initially I was absolutely terrified. Absolutely terrified. And I thought to myself, okay, so as somebody who deals with the alchemy of the universe, I know that I could become one with the water and to get the best results for my friend's music video. Yeah? So I'm shivering, I'm like, oh my god. And the, the, the guys are like, no, it's cool, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kick back with the water. Me and the water are gonna, we're gonna do this. So I sat in the water and I'm chilling and all I could hear was sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice in my, you know, in, in my mind. And I'm like, sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. So I was like, I don't know what spirit is asking me to sacrifice. So I'm sitting there and I said, okay, let me just concentrate on merging with the water, feeling the same, getting to the same temperature as the water, you know, and just working with the climax, allowing the waves to just gush onto me so I'm not scared, so I can put my head underneath and come out all sexy and goddessy and beautiful. So I did just that. When I came out of the water, um, I looked down at my feet and my toe ring was gone. Now, I've had this toe ring since I was 15 years old. Um, I'm, in, I'm, I'm 30 plus, shall we say, because we don't ask a lady's age, but I'm 30 plus. So, and it, my friend was saying, oh my gosh, we've got to find the toe ring, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you know what? I did hear sacrifice in my mind when I was meditating in the seawater and merging with the seawater so I'm cool I'm, I'm cool that I've lost it you know that it's gone I'm just gonna drop it you know that was what I had to sacrifice in order to get to that level of self where I could be one with the water and come out of the water the way I wanted to in order to get the right results you know for my friend's music video and what he wanted and it made me kind of realize that well it kind of it amplified actually the fact that when you're a goddess loss and sacrifice actually comes with that there's a lot of women out there who you know um are so associating themselves as being goddesses and they're trying to understand the concept of being a goddess and this is just one section that i just recognize and i thought it would be interesting to kind of share with you guys a goddess is somebody who to me is somebody who embraces their inner beauty and their outer beauty, brings it to balance and then pushes through their life journey with that thought process, you know, and with that within their heart. As we all know, there's some people out there that push light through life just through their outer experience, you know, with their outer uh, beauty. 
and there's some people that do it just through their inner beauty you know they claim to be um, inwardly beautiful and, and they feel like that's enough whereas for me and in, in, for goddesses we embrace our inner and outer beauty and we push through life's journey with that now there's a lot of things that come with that there are a lot of issues that come with that and there's a lot of blessings that come with that and losing things as a goddess is a part of being a goddess okay like i said if you have your altar you make sacrifices now there's things that are going to happen in your everyday life not just you're not going to consciously uh, sacrifice things all the time there's going to be momentous things where you have to be prepared to merge with the universe and the elements of, of life in order to get to the level that you want to get to in the moment you know like I said with uh, my toll ring for instance and I'm cool with that because I wanted to receive the blessing of being able to merge with the with the water so that I could achieve what I wanted to achieve and, I, and, and, and I'm so happy and it's just awesome and I'm happy that I couldn't I'm, I can explain it to you guys and um, those women out there who you know sometimes think to themselves why am I always losing things you know those women who are goddesses or the new that they're, they're just working with alchemy they are just working with the universal law concept etc etc you know be comfortable relax with the fact that you know what in order for you to create the space within you to receive what you want whether it be you know a future situation or in the moment there are sacrifices that are going to be, have to be made and you're not always going to be able to pick and choose whether those sacrifices happen or not so when it comes to our altars we can go and buy flowers you know fruits peanuts or whatever it is and water and we can actively go and source those things and put them on our altars in order for us to make sacrifices or, you know even sometimes um, we, we put crystals on there etc etc um, however there's sometimes that things have to go yeah whether that be your boyfriend your car whatever it is things have to go in order for you to be a better goddess and enjoy the experience of being a goddess even more so no more crying you know don't see the loss as a um, a punishment you know or a conviction see it as mm, what's gonna happen next you know obviously loss is within its extremities you know and some people can say you know but what about if I lose this or that I'm not gonna bother give examples but it's always to create space in the mind of a goddess she should know and she should understand that it's always to create space in in our lives so that we can receive something completely new fresh beautiful uplifting empowering motivating and another inner or outer accessory so thank you for joining me today um in this beautiful beautiful sun if you can see the the water behind me you know i'm just up leveling on my environment again um and just spending time with good people i've sacrificed my toll ring that i've had since i was 50 to have this experience and i'm in full gratitude for that Nick Janandam, thank you very much. Bye for now. See you now.